once again we're looking at our 3D file and this time instead of doing clip volume let's take a look at clip mask. Clip mask is the next icon right next to clip volume. As you see this is available in all of our windows. The reason why clip mask is very powerful is because it's got the opposite effect. Instead of just simply clipping and only displaying what's inside the box, you're now telling MicroStation to turn off everything that's inside the box. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say we want to clip something from the front view. I'm going to select Clip Mask. I'm going to come back up here to the options and notice I want to display my clip uh, elements because that way I can adjust it anytime I want. I'm going to select two points and all I'm going to do is say, look at, I want to be able to turn off everything between here and say somewhere right in here. So now it's going to ask me to select my view. I'm going to go ahead and select the isometric view. Now, can you see what's happened right in here? Let's go ahead and fit this so you can see a little bit better. And now you can see that it actually cut away uh, long ways uh, this entire area right in here. So when I rotate it, can you see there's a big gap right in here? And there you see my little window. So at any given time, we can remove that. Watch how fast we can do it. So if I come back up here, I can refresh the screen. I can go ahead, tell MicroStation with my uh, element selection tool to select this little window and I can either move it or delete it. So right now I'm just simply going to delete it. I'm just going to select the task, select the delete button, and now let's try it from a different perspective or a different window. Why not time for a, try the top? I'm going to select the clip mask and I'm going to do a several combination. I'm going to say I want to cut away this much of it. Select it. I'll go ahead and click in here. I go back and select the same tool and this time let's select another window here. I'm going to put it like about right there and I'm going to click inside view number two. This is where I want to see it. Now when I fit the entire drawing, can you see what's happening here? I'm going to rotate this and take a look here. I'm able to cut through in every direction up and down these two areas. Now that doesn't look very powerful right now because you're looking at a wireframe, but watch what happens when I select this. And I'm going to say, let's go smooth for a moment, and we'll say shadows, so we can take a look at it. Now, notice here, now when I rotate it, can you see how this is going to allow me to show a cutaway? So now I can take a look inside this bridge and be able to see exactly what's going on. Again, for those of you that really want to see the power, if you use the element selection tool and you select this object, Notice that I can come up here and I can tell MicroStation, I can do a combination of some things here, where I can go ahead and say, hey, let's, let's move this entire object right in here. We're going to say, I want to move it somewhere like about right in here. Can you see how it begins to cut away wherever I rest it on? And again, it depends on what you're trying to do and where you're trying to go with this. You can begin to control what portion of this you want to be able to have cut away. And at any given time, not only can we rotate it and take a look at this cutaway that you see here, but the beauty of this is that the moment you get rid of these edges, MicroStation will restore the entire drawing. You can see it's selected, and now I simply click on the Delete button and my entire drawing comes back. So it's a really simple process, but it's very powerful whenever you're trying to either go ahead and tell MicroStation that you want to cut away something, or perhaps what you want to do is be able to mask an area so you can see through it.